this is the basic equipment you'll need to make beer. The, this is a primary fermenter. It's essentially an oversized bucket because you need to have lots of head space. Uh, this is an airlock and bung that, that fits into the lid. The same airlock and bung also fits into the glass carboy. This is where the beer clears after fermentation. There's a spoon for, for mixing things up. The siphon is used to transfer it from the primary into the secondary. There's a little tip on the end. This comes off. But you use this to keep the siphon up out of the sediment so you get the liquid and you leave the yeast behind. This is just sanitizing powder. There are lots of different types. Uh, Diversol um, works well. Uh, this is the hydrometer and test jar. You put a sample of your beer in, in here. This floats and then you can read it at eye level and get an accurate reading. This is a floating thermometer. Uh, just floats in there and, and you, can, you can take the temperature. I've also got a digital thermometer, which is handy because it's instant reading. Uh, this is a little more advanced. Uh, you may not need this, but it's nice to have as a pH meter. And then moving on to all grain equipment. This is your mash tun. It's essentially a, a bucket similar to the, the primary, but it's got a spigot on the bottom, and then it's got a stainless steel fault bottom screen that's built in just above the spigot. It allows you to separate the, the liquid from the solids. And then when you're stirring your mash, because it's, it's thick, it's good to have a nice big wooden paddle. And it's even handy to graduate your, your wooden paddle so when you're measuring your liquid, you can use it as a dipstick. Which brings me to the kettle. Um, if you're extract brewing, you can get away with one of these. This is 19 liters. Um, if you're, even if you're all grain brewing and you're doing it on a stovetop, you can split your wort into two of these. Um, but better still is to have a nice one single big pot like this, which is also stainless. This one's 60 liters, and it sits on top of a propane burner that I've converted to natural gas.